Low pressure systems push air masses together. Temperature differences in those air masses create fronts, either cold or warm mainly. Warm fronts are tamer than cold fronts, but they have their share of hazards too, such as more moisture, lower ceilings, and an increased possibility of icing. We'll talk about one icing prediction trick next on 57 Seconds to Safer Flying. When there's a warm front, you can determine where clear or mixed icing is likely to form. Temperatures on the surface right at freezing, with warmer temperatures a few thousand feet above, could mean supercooled rain droplets icing up your airframe. Remember, winds aloft charts indicate forecasted temperatures at certain intervals. This is what appears to have happened over northern Missouri February 8th of 2021, when more than one general aviation airplane iced up on their way northbound, one pilot landed to de-ice a heavily iced up airplane only to launch out again in the same weather system. This crash killed both the pilot and his dad. Fewer pilots are conversing with weather briefers these days, opting for self-briefing from electronic sources. Airmets and SIGMETs, for example, are often ignored. Unless you're an avid student of weather and instrument proficient, use caution blasting off into sketchy weather where a low pressure system is dominating the conditions. When you become a weather junkie, learning how to analyze weather systems that can directly influence your route of flight becomes easier. That'll make the go, no-go decision-making or the go sooner or go later decision-making or even go somewhere else decision-making a lot easier. For the FAA safety team, I'm Phil Dixon.